So Dan, what do you expect to hear from the DA and sheriff today? I expect them to talk about what they found so far and where they go from here. Um, I don't expect that they're going to announce charging decisions, etc. What they found so far is going to be what we've seen in some of those search warrants. And the single most important thing that they have found so far is that according to the DA, they found bullets. If they found bullets on that scene, that in and of itself is a problem, meaning that's different from shell casings. So if they found actual bullets, ammunition, that was all over that scene, the question is going to be why? Why were there live bullets on that and scene? And that at gets all? to the possibility of criminal charges for the, pro for the producers. Uh, absolutely. Look, criminal charges, as the DA says, are on the table. They have to be on the table right now, right? Someone died there. And it sure seems like there were a lot of problems on that set. Does that necessarily mean you get criminal charges? No. Problems don't necessarily mean criminal charges. You're going to need a level of negligence, recklessness that led to the death. But this DA has to keep criminal charges on the table as of right now. How long do you think it'll take to sort this out? Well, she's saying weeks, if not months. Here's my guess. My guess is it's going to take them a couple of weeks, but we may not hear anything for a couple of months. Meaning, I think once they figure out where they're going with it, then they will approach probably attorneys for the defendants, et cetera, and we'll see where it goes from there. But I think that I think this is going to move comparatively quickly. Dan, what do you make of the unconfirmed reports that some were taking part in target practice? Yeah, see, if that's true, that they were using the same weapon, that is totally unacceptable. Right. You talk to anyone who's worked on a set. Ammo. Right. Yeah. They, they, they will tell you the notion that the same weapon that that they were using for target practice is being brought back in to use is unacceptable. The, the word that one um, um, expert in this ex used to me is it has to be sequestered. When you have a weapon like that, you sequester it. Mm -hmm. You would never in breaks take it out and use it for shooting, etc. So now the question is going to be civil versus criminal. There is no doubt there are going to be lawsuits filed about this. The question is going to be, and, and we'll have to read through the lines a little bit today in the press conference, is this going to rise to the level of possible criminal charges? Mm. Quite a story. Dan Abrams, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.